next part of the car that we're going to be working on will be the axle blocks that are down here on the bottom. And these measure out to be an inch and a half long each. So we're going to take some stock that has a groove in it right here and we're going to measure those out to be an inch and a half long. So take your ruler, measure out an inch and a half. And then you can take another inch and a half, or you could have done it as one and a half and then three. Now we notice that now this piece doesn't fit through the shoe, so we need to raise the shoe up. This is down. And now we only have a little mark, so we're going to have to make an adjustment here. We're going to take a square and draw a straight line across so we make a straight cut. So I bring this square in and I line it up with the line, this edge here, and then I can draw my straight line across. That way I know where to cut it. I do the same here. Don't try to just eye this up. It does need to be straight. All right, now that I have my two lines that I'm going to cut, I can bring it into the saw. Again, follow all your safety rules. There's one. There's two blocks. The next piece we'll be looking at will be this white piece of tubing that is glued to the block itself and that's why this groove is in here is to help bond the uh, tube to the block. So we'll need a piece of PEX, the white tubing, and then we will measure this out to be one and three quarters inch long. You're going to need two of these. So you can mark out two. Again, if you need to make an adjustment to the shoe on the saw, do so. I have the line, and that's where I'll cut. Hold on to the piece firmly, and it cuts just like a piece of wood. Next step will be to hot glue those two pieces together. Alright, so now we have our two blocks and we have our two pieces of PEX tubing. We're going to glue these two together. So you have the groove that's in here and the piece is actually going to sit in the groove like so. And you want this piece centered side to side so it's in the middle. So take a, some hot glue and push it down into the groove and you definitely want more of it showing so it's above the surface there and now bring your tubing in and press it down you should feel the groove the groove will help make the piece straight on the block that's why the groove is there as well as to help it bond now this isn't enough glue to permanently hold this piece there we're going to have to put some reinforcement glue in there it will pop off if your car hits something later on so do that to both pieces. And remember you should have your safety glasses on during this. Again, side to side you should feel the groove so you know it's straight. And then come back and put a fillet in here into this groove and this is what really holds this piece on and gives it some strength. You are putting a decent amount of glue on there, so be aware that that hot glue isn't going to cool off for a little while. And do the other side. There's one done. Back to this one. Uh, 
always remember that hot glue is actually quite dangerous and if you get it on your skin it can really give you a burn or a blister so be very careful with this hot glue so there's two done all right the next step will be to mount these blocks to the frame the next part of the car we'll be looking at is mounting these blocks in the housing to the frame itself but there's something you should see first on the front of the car you'll see that the housing or the white tube here is on the front side of the block where if we go to the back you'll see that this tube is on the bottom side of the block All right so make sure that you set this up correctly let's concentrate first on the rear block where the axle housing is on the bottom first thing we're going to want to do is get a line to go across here now to do this if you take two scrap pieces of wood here and bring in this to the side you can use that to draw yourself a line straight across the back and you can make this quite dark like so then take and put this into a vise next thing you do is bring in your car frame and now again we're looking at the back we're going to line up these two holes that we have drilled so they are over the top of the uh, line that we just had there and then we can take and mark that with a pencil where the lines or where the holes are okay so now you have your two marks the next thing you do is bring in a screw gun line up your bit with the hole here and then drill about halfway through so there's the rear the next thing we're going to do is look at the front now again the front of the car this tube is on the front side so when we line this up we're going to be putting a mark here so make sure you put your mark on the right side. And again place this in the vise. Now this might get a little tricky because you've already mounted that tube on the front. So be careful clamping. Just clamp it light. And again, line up your two marks. So you can see the line in the hole. If you're looking through the hole, you can see the line. Mark this. So now I have my two marks where I'm going to drill. Grab your screw gun. And if you go all the way through this one, it's okay. Okay, so now I have my back and the front. And the frame, now it's time to screw it together. I have found the easiest way to screw these together is to actually put it into the vise again. Lightly clamp it and make sure that it's up high enough. Then you're going to bring in your piece, line up the holes, take a screw, put it on the end of the screwdriver, and then through the hole and line it up to the pilot hole that you drilled with the screw gun and then you can tighten that on. There's the back done, and then I'll bring in the front. Two screws. These are three quarter inch screws, by the way. Okay, so now we have the front axle housing on, the block, the frame, the rear, so it's starting to look like a car. The next thing we're going to do is start making some wheels.